Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So, uh, I want to do a video today about uh, the power of belief and how like your mindset, like what you believe and what you think is possible can really affect what is possible for you. So this is something that, you know, I've always heard and I've, I've said before, of course, on this channel, but I had a really interesting experience. I won't describe it uh, in, in this particular case. It's a little personal, but there were definitely like this weekend, I was hanging out with a buddy and he had a bit of a different belief system of what was possible than, than what I believed. And he was telling me about some things that I didn't quite believe. It didn't seem like it was legit. It seemed like he might be telling someone of a fictional story. And you know, sometimes when you, you, know, you hear someone say something like that, you think that maybe they're bragging or, or that they're just making up some stuff. Maybe some of you who watch this channel think I do that uh, pretty often. But when you hear that, you kind of, you know, you hear some of that stuff and you think, ah, yeah, 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 you know, whatever, they're just exaggerating, it's not really true. Aside from that though, you know, you can get in this situation where you're kind of a little too skeptical. I find that a lot of the stuff that I talk about, uh, you know, is, is about having the open mind and, and whatnot, so how could I be skeptical? Well, of course, you know, you're, you're, you're limited by your own beliefs, right? And what you think is possible, right? And so, in, in this particular area, I had, I had thought that I had already maximized what was possible, but my friend insisted, no, no, there's a different way, there's more to it. And without getting into the specifics of the, of the details, he showed me, he proceeded to show me how, you know, the things that I thought were impossible were possible, and I made some breakthroughs, some personal breakthroughs, not just in, uh, in my ability uh, in, in several areas, but also in just uh, my acknowledgement of the, the fact that, you know, just because something seems impossible to me doesn't mean it is. And the funny thing about that, you know, again, without going into the specifics, is that you kind of figure out that, you know, once you hit that breakthrough, right, just like, you know, I could use the, the you know, the overused example of, uh, you know, Bannister breaking the four minute mile. But once you know that it's possible, not only is it possible, but what was impossible before becomes the new normal and it becomes easy. So, you know, I'm thinking, this is impossible, this is impossible, this is impossible. And then I see someone do it, and then I do it myself, and then it becomes easy. It becomes the new low bar, right? And becomes more than, you know, more than, more than possible, but simple, easy, right? And this happens a lot. And if, you know, if you think about it, you'll probably find these own patterns in your own life as you've been learning some kind of skill, or you know, for a lot of people, it's reaching some kind of a financial goal or income level, and then you know, all, for a very long, long time, it seems so far out of reach and so impossible, and then all of a sudden, it is in reach and it is possible. And you know, again, I'm not being very specific in this video, and I know, but uh, there's certain reasons why. But I just wanted to, you know, do a video talking about this because uh, it, it is so important and so relevant, and you can probably see your own parallels. In your, in your own life where, where this is the case. But anyway, that's all I got for you today. Just something to think about if you've got you know limitations where you think something's not possible, but you hear someone doing it, a good, a good solution, a good strategy for that is to just go ahead and, uh, and watch them do it, right? See them do it. Uh, you know, I know for me personally, in the, in the fitness side of it, in the physique side, I had started hanging around a lot of YouTubers that were in the fitness space, and pretty soon my physique started to improve a huge amount, just because I realized what was possible. And I, I was thinking, at one point I was thinking I was at the top of my, my game, and I realized I wasn't, because I was looking at these other guys, and I was like, wow, they're, they look better, they're doing better, right? And so, you know, it's not like I even needed the advice from them, because that's not really what, what changed. What changed was the mindset. What changed more than anything was now me having a different level of expectation, a different level of belief. And the same thing with this example that I've been very vague about too. Uh, my buddy convinced me of something and when I put it into action, uh, I saw how easy it was and boom, mindset shift. I'll never think that same way again. And so there's obviously a lot of areas uh, in my own life where this still needs to happen. But you know, there's a lot of things that are holding you back, all of us. And so if you know someone who's accomplishing what you might think is impossible, rather than being skeptical, put them to the test. Say, hey, look, I want to see it. I want to see how you do it and and watch. And then, you know, again, it's not like you even need necessarily the mentoring. It's just sometimes just seeing it, just believing it, it's possible, will we'll get you there. And then once you do it yourself, 
then it becomes, it goes from impossible to possible to easy to every day. There's so many things in my own life now that, like I said, I thought were impossible, but now they're just every day. They're just something that, that just happens every day. So anyway, that's all I got for you today. Make sure you click the subscribe button below. Click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll talk to you next time. Take care, John.